Hey everyone, Final Gear here. Uh, so, it's my first video, kind of obvious. So, it's not going to be as great as, you know, like Jacksepticeye. But I hope you guys enjoy. Um, mainly making this because I've had some really deep thoughts going around in my head, you know, and... Well, let's face it, yeah, I, I need something to, I needed a video to be able to make, and also, well, uh, kind of need a way to get it out, you know? Anyways, first thing, for this first video, let's talk music, okay? And I know it doesn't seem that deep just the subject of music but you'll see why I say it's a deep thought in a second lately I've just been realizing that well music isn't what it used to be music I remember when music actually meant something, you know? And if any of you disagree and say, nah, music's still the same, man, well, okay, okay, Every everyone's entitled to their own opinion, you know? But just let me explain what I mean. Pop music today and, you know, just the music you hear on the radio, the best hits of 2019, 2018, 2017, yada, yada, yada. Let's face it, they... <laughs> it's fluff. Okay? There... There's no meaning to the songs. You listen to the lyrics, you listen to what's being said, and honestly, either it's nothing, means absolutely nothing, there's not really any emotion actually behind it, and also, or, or it's just talking about stuff that, honestly, we shouldn't care that much about. I have two categories that I've been thinking of, and... Uh, kind of found out, figured out what to call them. First type that there are lately in today's world are the copycats, okay? The copycats are those that see what other bands, other musicians are doing and see that it's doing good, and their response is to just do the exact same thing. Just make it a little bit different. You know, kind of like how some people cheat in school. They copy someone else's exam, change a few little words, and pass it off as their own. That's pretty much what these people are doing. That's what these musicians are doing. And, don't, and I'm not saying all. Are doing this, okay? Not all of them are, but a decent amount are. I mean, there's a difference between, well, using someone else's work as inspiration and just doing the exact same thing. You listen to songs on the radio, and I don't know about you, but me personally, I hear some songs on the radio, and I'm just all, wait a minute. Yeah, wait. Exactly what he's saying. But anyways, um, anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, I'm just all, wait. 
this song sounds exactly like this one. And then I end up listening to that one, I'm all, yeah. Yeah, it, it's pretty much the exact same. The exact same. And, I don't know, it's, it's frustrating. Because you're just, you're just listening to the exact same thing over and over and over again. Different bands, different song titles, different lyrics, but overall, same thing. And, I don't know. And, I'm pretty sure in the comments there are going to be plenty of you saying, Well, music's always been like that, man. I don't know why I gave you all that voice. Uh, but, anyways, just, music's always been like that. It's, music hasn't changed. And, true, there, there are songs that are pretty similar, but, I don't know. I mean, back when I was a little kid, they all had something unique about them, you know? Even just all the different love songs that had kind of the same meaning, they all had something special. You know, something extremely special about them that, I don't know, made them stand out. Anyways, that's, that's the first type. That, those are the copycats. And trust me, when, when you start listening to songs after you see this video, I'm sure that you will actually start seeing what I'm talking about. That so many songs are pretty much the same thing. <laughs> now on to the second type. Before I say what this is, let me give you an example. Okay? Cake by the Ocean. That is an example of a song in the category I will call The Deadly Sins. Yes, I just did that. These ones, as you can probably guess, are songs that talk about worldly pleasures that just shouldn't matter as much as they apparently do. Like I said, Cake by the Ocean. What's that one talking about? It's talking about, you know, um, well, it's not talking about literal Cake by the Ocean. It's, it's pretty much talking about sex, okay? <laughs> It's, it's talking about sex. It's talking about having sex by the ocean. And if you listen closely to the lyrics, you'll hear it. You will hear it. And that's not the only one. And please remember, I'm not just talking about 2019 music and 2018 and 2017. This has been going on for a while. And it's something that I've noticed for a while, and just, I don't know, just now kind of worked up the courage to make a video on it, and say something, you know? But anyways, just, there's so many songs that are just talking about sex, and doing drugs, and alcohol, and... Partying at the bar with all the strippers and all that, and it's just... Why? Why are you singing about all this garbage? All this worldly pleasure that... Only gives you... Joy for a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that... Sex itself is bad. If it's like with your significant other that you're going to be with for the rest of your life and it's extremely dark anyways then then that's fine because it's a good meaningful loving experience but if you're just talking about doing it with anyone that catches your eye no okay you only feel joy from that for a little bit it's temporary Music's just kind of starting to lose its soul. 
What I mean by that... Let me use a video game that I really like as an example. Detroit Become Human, okay? In fact, I'm going to use this as two examples of something. First example, one of the scenes when you're first playing as Marcus, okay? You're walking around, and you see this guy. He's got a guitar. Not an android, okay? An actual person. He's got a guitar and... A cardboard sign that says real human music because I mean think about it androids are the ones that are making most of the music at that point right but here's the problem with that okay that music doesn't have any soul the androids are probably just looking at what kind of songs are popular and making music based off of that okay that that is not the kind of stuff people want to listen to. It's empty. There's no soul behind it. Now to go on to another point that has to do with Detroit Become Human 2 and the music problem. In Detroit Become Human, the main plot is and I'm not going to spoil anything for those of you who haven't seen it, although I do recommend watching a Let's Play video of it. Um, pretty much, you play as three different androids, and pretty much they're becoming more human. They're starting to have human emotions, they're showing signs of what the game calls deviancy, which is humanity, in my personal opinion. That's what I'd call it. Um, but... What I'm noticing with music today is... It seems more like... It seems kind of like Detroit Become Human, only swap the roles. Humans are losing humanity. We're losing what actually matters when it comes to music. What's popular at the moment and how much money it will make, that doesn't matter. In the end, it doesn't matter at all. Not at all. Okay? What really matters about music... Let's face it, guys. Music is poetry. Okay? And personally, I'm a pretty big poet. I understand poetry. And that's what music is. Music is poetry given beats. That's all it is. What music is now is like that person in poetry class who... Well... Who just writes it just to get the credit, but doesn't actually put a lot of effort. That's not what music is supposed to be. And yet that's what it's becoming. It's becoming an obligation. They need to write something, so they're just all, oh, um, let's see here. What's popular? Ooh! Ed Sheeran, some, one of Ed Sheeran's songs is doing good. Hmm. I think I'll make something like it. And they don't even use it for inspiration. They just try to make something similar yet different. Just because they feel like they have to. Because like I said, it's an obligation. Now, you may be thinking, hey, he's an old timer. Even though it's obvious I'm not that old. But still. <sighs> Maybe thinking that I'm just like grandma or grandpa or something. Here's what I want you to do. And remember, not all songs are going this way. It's not at all what I'm saying. Hmm, not much. Hey, do you know where I'm at, dog? I'm not 